In this short video, I want to tell you how two-stroke diesel Detroit engine valve trains, how it works. Join me. What you are looking on your on the screen now is the rocker arm. You can see the rocker arm. It has three fingers. I want to break it down for you to so you understand it. it has three finger. Remember, this is a two-stroke engine, Detroit engine. All the valves are exhausts, no inlet valves. I will tell you more about that in another video. This is all the valves are exhausts. So the two side of the rocker ham is actuating the two set of valves, the exhaust valve. Why the center one? Of the rocker arm is actuating the injection pump. The injection pump and the injectors are combined together in this system of engine. So when you look at it, you will see three fingers. One is for exhaust, the second one, the middle one is for injection pump, while the last one too is for exhaust valves actuating it now let's go down straight to the the governor or the you can see the rack i'm actuating i will later talk about the rack now let's let's talk about the valve bridge what i'm holding now is called valve bridge this valve bridge is actuating two valves simultaneously it helps the engine it helps the a single rocker arm to actuate two valves at the same time that is the essence of the valve bridge because it is only two valves so that you can actuate this uh, simultaneously this valve bridge remember as i said before is all the valves are exhaust this valve bridge is operating one side of the two exhaust valve why another one is actuating the two set of exhaust valve of another set why the center one you are looking at is your injection pump this valve bridge is very important so that the valves can be actuating at the same times of the same side of the valve and the same thing applies to the second side too so the valve bridge helps the engine to actuate two valves at a time simultaneously that is the essence of valve bridge now let's talk about the pressure part you can see the pressure pipe this is where you put one pressure pipe and the second pre put the second pressure pipe into your injection pump the pressure pipe has a short and longer one this shorter one is supplied while the longer one is returned now i'm on the rack this is the rack as you can see now that is the rack this is the rack as you can see the rack it is the rack that is controlling the injection form that it's, it is the speed control or you can only call, call it governor the rack that in another video i'm going to explain deeply about the rack but for now you can now see the governors subscribe to my channel thank you for watching me thank you